Hi everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies, and today I have the pleasure of building the new Wind X 98, which was sent to me by Wind X Studio. This is a new 98% or 1800 mechanical keyboard, and when I first saw it, I thought, man, not only is this keyboard beautiful, but it's also going to be great for work since it's more compact than a full size keyboard, but still has a numpad. Wind X Studio sent me the E white and pink version of the keyboard, and I am absolutely in love. It's an extremely high quality feeling build with a gold colored brass weight and three separate pieces for the aluminum case. To the right side of the escape key is a multicolored stainless steel PVD X logo that adds a fun but subtle pop of color that makes the board look unique and an additional gold colored brass accent near the arrow keys. The middle case in this slightly dusty pink color works really well with the white and gold and you can see the clean Win X90 imprint on the back. I also love how the top and bottom case meet together in a way that lets the pink color peek through all around the board. Now since I received a sample, I will be assembling the board myself, but if you choose to purchase one in the group buy, everything will come pre-assembled for you. All you need to do is add the switches and keycaps. I also received the 1.2 millimeter hot swap PCB, and this is one of the most interesting PCBs I've ever worked with. It has a really pretty coating and logo, but also a lot of cutouts and stacked hot swap sockets that give you a lot of options for different key configurations and layouts. This build comes with a lot of foam, thin and thick case foam, hot swap foam, top and bottom PCB foam, and even foam for your spacebar. You can also add on a selection of Gateron switches to your purchase. I went with the Gateron CJs. But I think for future use, I might switch them out for the Gateron Oil Kings as they have been my favorite linear switch lately. My sample did not come with keycaps, so I decided to use the Drop Skylight keycaps in rows since I already had them on hand and I thought the color theme went beautifully with the rest of the board. This is my first time putting together a board from scratch like this, so I'm going to learn a lot along the way. I've never worked with screw and stabilizers before, so this was definitely a little difficult for me. The bottoms of the Gateron ink stabilizers are completely flat, so the only thing I had to do was lube them with Crytux 205G and use dielectric grease on the wires. The shims were also confusing to me at first, but I figured it out and installed them on top of the PCB after watching some other YouTube build videos. This was the most amount of stabilizers I've ever installed on a board. At this point, I was feeling very jealous of anyone who is going to be ordering this pre-assembled, but I was happy to have had the experience. Now for the build. I started off with the thick plate foam and placed the PC plate on top since I didn't want to dampen the board too much. And this is where I made another rookie mistake. Folks, always test your stabilizers before adding on the rest of your switches. Okay, so I might have installed the wrong size wire for the spacebar, but we're all good now. I also learned how to better apply the shims before screwing on the stabilizers, so that's awesome. Testing out the stabilizers real quick, and then moving on to the rest of the switches. So 
silicone gasket socks slide onto the ends of the plate tabs, which help to isolate any vibrations and noise that may come from the plate or PCB coming in contact with the case. They also give the keyboard a little bit of flex when pressed down on. Now to apply the bottom feet. And disassemble the case. Inside, I went with the thick case foam. Taking off the heat cap so I can flip it over and reassemble. And here she is. The Windex 98 is an impressive build, and I think it's a great looking board with unique design features that will set it apart ever so slightly from the rest of your collection. I also like how customized you can make the board in terms of sound with all the dampening foam it comes with, so you can really create something that's just right for whatever work environment you're in. Here's a quick look at the flex of the board with the build I went with. And here is a short typing test.